hello hi everyone welcome back to the channel so today in this video lecture we'll be learning about a very important technique that is Euler tour which is also known as flattening a tree so this technique is used a lot of times when we solve tree problems which involves performing certain type of queries on the trees so we'll solve those problems later in this series of videos so let's discuss about what this Euler tour is. It's basically a way of traversing a tree. So a tree is basically a special graph having n nodes and n minus 1 edges. So it's a way of traversing the tree such that each vertex when we traverse the tree is added to the tour when we visit it. Okay. Now no matter the order in which we are visiting whenever we visit a node we basically add the node into the tour we start from the root node of the tree and reach back to the root after visiting all the vertices so the starting point and the ending point for this tour is same okay so let's let's see by performing this Euler tour over a tree okay so let's take this tree this is the root of the tree node number one this is root and we start performing the depth for search strategy so we know what is DFS so we'll store the island tour of this tree using DFS strategy so we start our DFS from node number one so we visit this node so since we are visiting this node we push it into the tour array so we initially take a tour array T O U R this tour basically stores the nodes in the order we are visiting them so initially we visit node number one we store one into this array then we move to the left child that is this one and visit this one so we store two in this tour okay then we move back to the parent node so after we performed so after we have visited this node we can see that this node has no child hence we move back to the parent node okay so we came down now we move back so we visit node number one again so we store store one here then we visit the right child that is this one so we visit node number three so we store three into this array so this node node number three also has left child and a right child so we move to left child and we store left child into the tree we visit the left child then we, this child do not have any children so we backtrack to the parent node we revisit node number three and we store it there then we visit the right child that is this node number five and we store node number five here in this array then we move back to the parent node that is node number three and we store this node into the array and then we move back to the root node and we store this root node into the array okay so we started from the root node that is node number one we traversed all the edges from one to two then back to one then three four three five three then we moved back to node number one and the order in which we are traversing these nodes is basically the island tour that's that's represented by this array that we have prepared okay that's all that's all about the island tour and we are using death first strategy to store this tour here fine pretty easy technique let's see the implementation of this technique how we can implement this technique into code since we are using depth for search strategy I'm using DFS okay we know how DFS works basically we start the DFS from the root node we keep a visited array we keep a visited array or we can also keep a parent okay we can also keep a parent so when we 
create our let's call this DFS function DFS let's let's create a DFS function let's call this DFS so what will be the parameters of the, the this DFS function since this is a recursive function we must know the node which we are visiting initially this node is node number one since we don't want to revisit the node which we have already visited we must have to keep track of the parent why because let's say I'm standing on this node here no let's say I'm standing on this node that is node number three I want to visit the children of this node that is node number four and node number five but we have three nodes connected to this node number three node one four and five so to keep track that one has already been visited and we don't have to traverse this node necessarily we have to keep track of this node from the node this node the node from which I am coming so I was at node number one then I came to node number three then I have to move to node number four and node number five I can't go back to node number one before I visit node number four and node number five I will only move back to node number one while backtracking okay so this so this is not counted as the child of node number three but the parent of node number three that's why I have to keep track of this node okay so then the question is when we are starting from the root node it has no parent so what would be the parent for node number one since we don't have any parent for node number one I would take some hypothetical node some hypothetical node and assign it some value which is not present on this tree let's say it's minus one so initially with node number one I will pass minus one okay so the very first function call would be DFS node number one and minus one okay now here since I am visiting this node I have to store it into an array so for that I also keep I also have to declare an array so globally I will declare an array to what would be the size of the array what would be the size of this array remember while performing Euler tour the number of nodes which we have to visit would always be 2 multiplied by n minus 1 these will be the number of nodes which will be present in the Euler tour of the tree which contains n nodes hence I have to create an array of size 2 into n where n represents the number of nodes that we have in the tree so this is going to store the Euler tour okay now corresponding to this node this node must have must be stored at some location in this tour so I will also declare a, a variable globally let's call it index variable let's call it index variable and initialize it to 0 that means when I'm starting at the root node the root node will be stored at the very first location of this tour array index okay so I have visited node number I have visited this node I will simply store this node I will simply store this node at this index and since I have already since I have visited this node now I will traverse its child so I have to increment which will be stored at the next location so I have to increment this index by 1 so I have to increment this index by 1 so index will be like index plus plus I have visited the node on which I am standing so initially it was node number 1 now I have to iterate over its child nodes I have to iterate ok so I'm iterating over the child nodes this 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 represents the list of the children that we have for this particular node so whenever I see that this child is not the parent that's why I 
I'm using this PAR variable in that case I will recursively call this TFS function for the child because I want to store the child into the store array as well so child node while the parent of this child node will become this node okay now after I have visited the subtree for this node for this node after I have visited the entire subtree for this node the subtree which is rooted at this child I have to come back to this node I have to come back to this node I have to come back to this node which node the node from which I started but for instance let's say this is the tree the, the tree is something like this I started from this node this is node number one I moved to this node which is the child of this node number one and in the same fashion I will keep visiting this entire subtree and after that I will come back to this node number two and since this is the node where I started I also have to come back to this node so I move down to node number two then I will move back to node number one after visiting this entire subtree okay so I again have to store this node number one Be so I so I will store this node again I will store this node again right here and I will update this index variable by one I will increment in this fashion I'm going to store the Euler tour for the particular tree and this array this array will store this array will store the Euler tour okay and that's the function fine so I hope you got the idea what we are trying to do it's just a simple technique we have a tree we just perform the depth first search we keep it keep an array and we simply store the nodes into this array as we visit them okay that's all so let's implement this solution this technique in code Okay, so I'm using C++ to implement this strategy. Okay, so let's let's implement let's let's first create a variable. Let's first create a variable. Let's call it n. So this represents the size of the tree or the number of nodes in the tree. Then let's create let's create the tree itself let's declare the tree itself that would be that I will declare using an adjacency list okay so this this adjacency list stores the tree okay then I will declare the tour array tour array which would be of size 2 multiplied by n and it will be initialized to 0 so let's call it let's be more specific let's call it Euler tour or Euler tour okay stores the Euler tour for the graph for the tree fine that's all these are the parameters that I need let's create the depth for search function let's create the depth for search function it takes in the node the current node which we are visiting the parent node and here I'm simply I also have to declare an index initialized to 0 so let's store this so this index is used to point to the elements in the Euler tour array okay now here when I, while visiting the node I will store this node in this array Euler tour at this index like this and now let's iterate over the child nodes of the current node so let's iterate over the child nodes here I'm checking if the child node which I am visiting is not 
same as the parent node from which I am coming. So what is the parent node? The parent node is this which I have passed here. And if it is not the parent node, then I would be calling this function recursively for this child node while this node here which I visited here will become the parent. And when I come back to this node, after visiting all the nodes in the subtree of this node, then I have to revisit this node and hence I will store it again in the LO tool array because that's what this array stores that's what this array stores I have to increment this index by one here also I have to increment this index by one here because after visiting after visiting after storing this node for that particular position I have to move to the next index so this is a post increment operation it first stores the node at the index location then it moves ahead by one so in this fashion this function will return will basically store the Euler tool for the given tree in this Euler tool array okay uh, so that's all for this video in the upcoming videos we'll learn more about this Euler tool technique and its applications to various problems so I hope to see you all in my next video